Greetings, Outlanders, and welcome back to another installment of our look at the Imperial Cult quest of more... Or an Imperial... Not Imperial Cult. Imperial Legion quest. We already did the cult. We're done with that. So we are back with the Grip of Penis, and today we find ourselves in the ever-lovely Fort Moon Moth, just outside of Balmora. And this is going to be our home for the next little bit, as we're going to be working for uh, the commander of this fort, the epically named Rad Hardheart. So, we have set up downstairs in the basement. Not the basement, really, but just the barracks. This is where everybody is supposed to sleep. And we've got to find our boss first off. That should be him right there. That's how I like it. Bold and direct. Bold Come, and direct. Alright, Rad. Word of your accomplishments has spread fast. You're ready for advancement. Hey, how about that? We get advanced just as soon as we get here. I like that. You're a good soldier, Agrippa Penis. I'm proud to give you the rank of champion and these pauldrons and boots. Alright, that's pretty epic. We'll tell you what, real quick, since we've got them, I've been looking forward to getting the pauldrons. Am I just using... What boots am I using? Oh, I've still got the boots of the Apostle. Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're good with that. We don't need the Imperial Steel there. I want my levitation. Alright, well now we've got our pauldrons. Looks uh, a little bit more official. I think now, besides the... Uh, besides the Greaves, I think I've got all the proper armor here. There we go. I'm just gonna set these up here on the pile for now. The amazing thing is I've actually been able to, uh, you know, carry everything around without any issue. I'll set those under there. All right. Now that we're dressed, we're ready for our first mission. Yo, Rad. We share the same company. What can I do for yep, you? Yep, we're in the same company. Moon Moth Legion company always happy to chat with people i like and i like you oh this is a nice place to work i like this what orders do you have for me boss uh the buoyant armagers have challenged us to a hunt go and kill a dwemer centurion and bring me the scrap metal the buoyant armagers have challenged us to a hunt they claim they will bring in the skin of a corpus beast we'll do them one better by bringing in the scrap metal from a dwemer centurion the only Dwemer ruins I know of near here is Arkenthand, just to the north, but I hear it's been overrun by bandits. Don't worry, we'll take care of those bandits. So, if you've played through the main quest of Morrowind, even just past the, uh, you know, first hour or so, you probably already know a good bit about this location. But it is just up the hill. We'll switch back to the world map for now. And it's going to be just right up here. You can actually see it just right there. We don't need to look at the map. So that is Arkanthand up here. And we just need to go and track down five pieces of scrap metal. So I hope everybody is having a great day so far. It's been pretty good for me. Been really excited to see all the traffic I've been getting lately. It, it has really been popping off. Uh, so this is our first target, Mr. Snowy Granius. He is uh, kind of the gatekeeper of Morrowind. So he's the first person, if you're playing just the main quest, he's the first person that you actually have to fight. And uh, they set the bar kind of low. Because he will just stand at a distance and shoot magic at you until he's done. He may summon a, uh, a skeleton. But it doesn't look like he summoned anything today. He, uh, he won't run in and attack until he's all out of magic. Which should be right about now. He might get one more shot. He's got a decent pool. I'll give him that. He doesn't hit very hard. So, I mean, it's not like this is, uh... All that necessary. I just always find it really funny. Oh, there he goes. And there he goes. Sorry, Snowiest. Snowiest. Sorry, Snowy. 
But uh, our first bit of scrap metal will hopefully come in these kegs over here. You gotta tap the steel keg. Well, this one's got a ruby and some glass. I won't really complain, because they're pretty valuable. Oh, and we got some uh, free gold in there. This is not stealing. Those are clearly marked as not stolen. Which, if you have watched uh, any of Agrippa Penis's journey so far, you know that he actually has a, a bit of a code of ethics. But we'll talk about that in a little bit, because we are already here. And this is how you get in. There's this little crank right here. Oh, God. I did not hear that uh, cliff racer coming. I am so sorry for that. Ah. Sometimes they get you by surprise. Especially in the ash storms. Okay, we'll need to do that again, because it is a timed thing. But you see it is actually uh, opening back up now, or closing back up now. Yeah, so there's a, a circular spherical, I suppose, hatch right here, and you have to kind of just race it through. Thankfully, it, it doesn't present any issues getting out, because that could be interesting. And normally on the main quest, of course, you're sent here to retrieve the Dwemer puzzle box. I'd say go ahead and pick it up while you're here, but if you're not on the quest, the Dwemer puzzle box will not spawn. So, save you a couple of hours of headache trying to find something that's not here. We're just going to check around, and hopefully we can find a good bit of scrap metal laying around. We may have to take out a few Dwemer and a monkey life. Look, he doesn't know what to do. He was running back. Piece of the nine to you, Frank Ruse. I've heard it, uh, I've heard it posited before. It seems, it seems fairly likely. But this ruin is actually pretty unique uh, in Morrowind. The names you may notice, uh, Cirrus Velus, Velus, Velavus, are kind of unusual. And just the location itself uses assets not really seen anywhere else. So, it's been speculated that this was actually one of the first places that they, uh, they built. And it was just kind of a test uh, dungeon. So, it ended up being a little bit different than most of the finished dungeons. But it is, you know, one of the most iconic and many people's favorites. I, uh, I have, I have a pretty decent fondness for it myself, I'd say. Wow, we are not getting crap on the scrap. Oh, we got a Dwemer coin. I don't want to take any Dwemer artifacts. Uh... I might as well go ahead and go into the, the thing. If you haven't uh, caught one of these Let's Plays with the Grip of Penis before, we don't kill without being provoked. As you can see, uh, Coratrine over here provoked us. But also, we don't steal unless someone is a criminal. Because criminals have no property rights in Morrowind. Uh, let's see here. We don't use drugs or alcohol, so... No Skuma, no Flynn. I just came in here, didn't I? Oh, hello. There we go. We also don't take any, uh... Well, don't take any. We don't worship any Daedra or the Tribunal. That includes taking, uh... You know, Shrine Blessings or Interventions from Almsivi. Uh, we try not to do any training with them or anything if we can help it. Try to keep everything with the divines. Um, but we also try not to take any any Dwemer artifacts since they're generally considered illegal. And also raw ebony because it's illegal as well. And of course we, uh, we do our best to not lie to anybody. But if we have to make a choice, uh, we lie to the, the people that are not morally upstanding. So, whoever we're, we're working for at the time, we try to complete our job honorably. And always, you know, worship the, the divines and, you know, do what they would, would have us do. I have not found a single piece of scrap metal. Which is highly unusual. Normally you'll have found a couple of pieces by now. 
It's, uh, it's generally lousy with it. I'm hoping we don't have to go to a different Dwemer Ruin. I can buy some scrap metal if we need, but it is much easier just to... Fight! It's just easier to fight. It's just easier to find it, usually. Uh, it should be just in the keg, which does present a little bit more of a, of a challenge. Got a nice book there. I'll read that later. Dance in the Fire. It's a good series. Although you shouldn't be dancing in any fires. Oh, here's some kegs. I missed those. Okay, we got one piece. Now, this stuff does weigh 10 pounds each. So, make sure you've got some carry weight available to you first. We got two and a diamond. Always nice. And there's our third piece right there. Okay, so we're already halfway done. See, that's what I'm saying. Normally, it's uh, all over the place. I mean, it is just scrap, so... Normally gets left all around. I checked these, didn't I? Yeah, that was just ebony, and that one was empty. Now, let's check over here. There are many different chambers in this place. And just bandit. Normally, you could find a good bit of scrap metal on the Dwimmer and a monkey lie. Uh, so, if you're doing this in a different location that has some, you know, active Dwimmer uh, creations then it'll probably be a little bit easier. And I don't think there are any kegs over here. That's just a piece of paper. Well, let's check in here. Now and I might let you live. No. And normally this is where the... Uh, oh! Interesting. I wonder if that's updated for... Uh, for open Morrowind. Or maybe it's a patch that... Uh, that fixed it. But normally the Dwemer puzzle box isn't here unless you are on the quest. I don't think I can take it. Yeah, I can't actually take it. I'm trying to... As you can probably hear, yeah, I'm, I'm clicking on it. And it's not working. So, interesting. But at least you know where it is. Is that scrap? No, that's just a cup. Hmm. No kegs in here. They've tapped all their kegs already. Must have had quite the party. Agrippa Penis wouldn't be interested in any of that, though. Uh, well, that was three. Let's, uh... Let's see. We'll, uh, we'll do some levitation here. How about that? I'll just use my... regular levitation. We'll save here real quick. It's a little slow, but... it'll be alright. I do have the boots I can use if I need to. I don't think there's going to be anything else. It's just the entrance up there. Uh, I'm probably coming up on 30 seconds here soon. So we'll get back over uh, a land point here. I think I've pretty well cleared everything on that side. Let's check back in uh, Weeping Bell Hall. We'll go catch a Weeping Bell. Evolve it into... Uh... Oh god, what does uh, Victory Bell... Yeah, Bell Sprout, Weeping Bell, Victory Bell. That's the order. I haven't thought about first generation Pokemon in a while. I had to stop and think. Oh, uh, let's see. There's got to be some more scrap. Look, we haven't even checked out these areas. Okay, so this is out towards the end of the. Oh. Well, that's unusual. That's highly unusual. I don't normally get stuck there. All right, and down this way, if we can successfully get across there, I don't have any magic. I probably should have just used the boots to start with, right? That would have been a good idea. That's all right. We can just use the boots. These boots were made for flying. I believe there's another bandit back here. In the uh, in the Dwimmer Observatory. Yep, there he is. Death is quite near. It's all around us. You guys keep dying. He just, like, died. And the lantern went through his chest. That's a terrible fate. Uh, anything up top? No. 
This is the spot in Gallum Deus where you'd find uh, Vampires of Ardenfell Volume 2. And there's a uh, coherer over here in a Dwemer tube. Hmm, but no scrap. Alright, there's still another area or two we haven't hit. Now, we have to parkour our way back down. I'm going to quick save, and I'm just going to try to jump this. Let's see how I do. Oh, just barely made it. Not bad, not bad. And see, I'm getting stuck again. I don't know what's up with that. I, I don't usually get stuck. It's not like a height thing. I'm just an Imperial. It shouldn't cause any problems. Hello. Why are you away from your post? Ooh, kegs. We may have done it. That one's empty. That one's empty. Oh, we got one. One more scrap. One more scrap. Okay, there's another keg back here. Will this be the one? It will not. Hmm. I don't think there's going to be any in the chest, but uh, we might as well try it out. It's only a level 5 lock. I should totally be able to do that. Oh, that's a probe. What am I doing? Lock pick. Thank you. Uh, oh, we did. We got a scrap metal. And a dwarven jink sword. Which is nice, but also dwarven. Not taking that. Alright, now that we've made it, we've done everything we need to do. There is one more room over here, but we don't need to worry about that. We'll look at that some other day. Because I'm sure I'll be back here at some point with the, the next, like, main quest. Like, walkthrough video series. Uh, so for now, we can just recall right back to the fort. Oh no, because I don't have enough magic. Okay, let's try that again. There we are. Mark and Recall are definitely your friends. It's worth taking mysticism just for that. Even if you don't take any other magic, take mysticism. Because it's got a lot of good, uh, good spells, including me. the intervention spells. All right, Rad, I have found five pieces of scrap metal for you. Yes, excellent. As you guaranteed our victory over the buoyant armagers, I should probably give you a little something for your troubles. Here's 500 drakes. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I mean, yes, sir. Absolutely. Aye, aye, sir. Uh, you can fight with the best of them. You don't seem to understand how to follow orders. Everybody keeps telling me that, but I feel like I follow orders pretty well. I need a champion to rescue the hermit, Josian Anosius. And, and quoi? And quoi? It's a, it's a Breton, so French here. Josian and quoi? We'll just go, we'll go with that. I'm sorry for butchering my, my French pronunciations there. Josian has been trying to teach the heir Binsum of, a, of imperial culture and virtue, but some Ashlanders do not appreciate his efforts. He was at the heir Binsum camp, but was taken from there. Go find Josian. Deal with his captors. Make sure he's safe and report back to me. Yes, sir. Aye, aye. We're not in the Navy. I don't know why I'm saying aye, aye. Oh, and it's nighttime, lovely. Well, the easiest way what say you? to do this is just to run up to Balmora. Just to the north here. Thankfully, it's not too far away. Now, if you want to be proper about it. The road is down here. But you can also just kind of go over the mountain if you prefer. I don't know why, but it always feels like Balmora should be north, but it's actually just west. So, can throw you off a bit if you're just looking at, you know, your uh, direction indication on the map there. I love the, the skybox in Morrowind. The clouds are beautiful. And the stars. Like, when you can get a, a good clear night, it's really, really pretty here. I actually live fairly out into the woods, so we have a really, really pretty night sky. Can actually see the uh, the Milky Way most of the time. 
I remember living like in cities and you you can't see anything. I lived in San Francisco for a while and like you you couldn't you could barely see the moon like half the time if you were lucky. All right. So let's take our silt strider here. And ultimately, we're going to need to end up at the Arabinsum camp, so we want to try to get to Telfir. So just the first place with the boat, really. Um, which in this case is going to be Vivek. The ever-popular hub of Morrowind. We'll just head down to the boat here, and we can take it uh, right around to Telfir. Or uh, at least to... Sadrith Mora. I guess you probably could have just taken, uh, could take the Mage's Guild out to Sadrith Mora. It's kind of the same thing there. It might be a little bit quicker since you can just go straight from Balmora. But let's head up to... Oh god, that's right. It doesn't have the straightaway option. We gotta go through Tel Bernora first. Yeah, definitely take the Mage's Guild. That's a lot faster. Alright, travel up to Sadrith Mora. And I mean, if you really want to, you can go up to Telerune right over there. But it's actually a little bit farther. And now begins the, uh, the long trek across the, the water here. We just want to make straight for uh, for the main... Not mainland. <laughs> make for the island behind... or th Yeah, the island, Vardenfell. Main portion of Vardenfell, not the archipelago over here. Just go down through Telfir. Um, we're going to use the boots for this. Because otherwise, that's no, not the amulet. Well, not the boots. And this is 30 to 40 points at least. So it's a little bit faster than uh, than my regular one. Ah, it still is you know, basically walking at this point. I do have water walking. So we may just uh, swap over to that. Because I can at least get my little bit of speed that I do have in play if I'm water walking. Yeah, and we'll save those charges for now. I don't know why I cast that here. Ah, uh, Kagaudi. There's plenty of Kagaudis in Morrowind, but I've never seen a Kagini. That was a stupid joke, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at this, this is so pretty. This is what I'm saying, the skybox is amazing. I don't think, I think this is the original. I don't think I've got any sort of like, uh, the skybox mods installed or anything like that. That was weird. It felt like the music kind of cut off and then started a new track, but it, I was thinking it was going to be a battle track, but it was not. Interesting. I like how there's a boat out here at Telfir, but you can't actually use it. It's kind of like old Velothi. Like, they've, they've got a boat, they've got a dock, they've got two boats, but uh, no travel options. And so one of the mods I really want to take a look at and probably like just keep in place for you know for some sort of full playthrough is the uh, the sails and sails mod and you can actually like pilot your own ship around the uh, the inner sea in the Patamaic Ocean works really well with uh, with Tamriel rebuilt just makes it a lot more you know, realistic since you can actually take your boat over to the mainland. Okay, and now it should be like a like a straight line back. So you've got like Sadrith Mora, then you got Telfir, and the Arabinsum camp should be you know sa along that same line. So just over towards the uh, the west here, west southwest really. Something's trying to kill me, but uh, I'm gonna deal with this elite first, or try to deal with this elite. What else is trying to kill me? Is it that crab? That crab can go to hell. I'm not waiting on him. 
Yeah, definitely can't rest. Oh my god, it's getting dark already. Yeah, so there's a, a break in the mountains here you can go around. Makes it a little bit easier than trying to go over. Although, I do have the boots of the Apostle. I could just levitate over if I want to. We're almost there now, so it'll be okay. Just a little ways inland. Oh my god, come on now. Yeah, you know what? Give me the boots. We'll rest up while we're there so I have charges for the next area. Oh, something finally got me. Yeah, have fun down there. Yeah, here we are. Here's the camp. So, it's, it, it wasn't really too much farther. Just along the front there. Oh my god, will you go away? There we go. That takes care of that problem. We are a Morrowind problem solver. And this extremely dark and very red in place is the Erebinsum camp. Which they don't want me to walk in, apparently, because they've got walls up there. Oh, what's trying to fight me now? Bet it's a cliff racer. Oh no, it's a shock beetle. There was a shock beetle. And we'll switch over to local map since we're here. Let's try talking to the folks. Speak, traveler. Outlander, you'll find no welcome here, I'm afraid. I'm not looking for welcome, I'm looking for Josian and Qua. He came with so many books, tried to teach us, then went to the Magrib Mabrigash. So many books, they were old, pages always falling out. I kept picking, up, picking them up after him. If you look for him, if you seek him, look for a trail of pages. Okay. Well, before we do that, let's, uh... Let's try to get to some daylight here, hopefully without an ash storm, so that we can see the pages. I need to recharge the boots anyway, so this is fine. There we go, nice pretty day. We'll save here in case I mess it up. That's always a possibility, but I'll do my best. Oh, and I guess I need to talk to her about where the Mag Mab Mabrigash is. Just so that uh, we have it on the list here. The wise woman who left us and our, uh, our rules. She steals a man's vital es essence to make herself a powerful sorcerer. Oh, that, that sounds kinky. Uh, her camp is to the west along the lava. She has others with her, and I would stay away. It'll be hard to find the camp in this landscape anyway. I like how Orc is, uh, is just highlighted in here, but she's not an Orc. Speak, traveler. Just the limitations of the, of the system there. They probably should have put, like, a space at the end of the, uh, you know, topic entry there. Just so that kind of stuff wouldn't happen so much. It would still happen here and there, but, you know. So it is to the west. And if we just head out of town, head out of town, head out of the camp, we should come across the first of many pages somewhere on the ground here. Oh, hello. A golden saint? Really? What's a golden saint doing out here? Well. Those aren't Daedric, so, uh... I'll have those. Only raw ebony is illegal in Morrowind, so those are perfectly valid. I have not yet seen any of the pages. I guess it's because I'm going the wrong way, though. Yeah, so it should be just to the northeast of us. I don't know where the pages are, though. I'm supposed to follow the page. Let's try back up here. I could probably find it on my own, but I just want to show you guys, like, the, the proper way here. Okay, this should be the trail. We'll just keep our eyes peeled. There should be some pages around here. And I'm sure we'll come across a couple of them one way or the other. I believe the book they're from is uh, History of the Empire. One of those. Like four volumes there. It's like 18 pages though. So 
I mean, I feel like they should be all over the place. Hello, rat. Oh, there's some. Unreadable page from a brief history of the Empire. All right. So there's the first set. We got another one. And they should all be pretty well visible. If you don't see the next page, just kind of go straight along the way you were already going. And that's usually the best way to find it. Oh. Oh yeah, I remember you. Greetings. From the, uh, I think it was Twin Lamps, wasn't it? There's another page. Yeah, because I remember I came across all these pages, and I'm just like, what the hell are all these pages here for? We should be getting close. We probably have, like, a big pile of pages somewhere. And we got another Kigaudi. I'm just gonna follow this road over here. I feel like it's too far... But I could be mistaken. And you saw that just disappear right there. That's Tel Uvrith, which is the... Okay, here's a page. Is the Telvani stronghold? I guess it's uh, just preloaded into the LOD textures, and when we get close, it, it, the game realizes that we are not House Telvani and have not constructed a stronghold. Okay, so we found some more pages. Oh, you die. There we go. Yeah, so we should be getting close. It's farther north than I thought it would be. That's a... Silt Strider carcass over here. I don't think that's their camp. Although it could be, you never know. No. Maybe it is the, uh, the Silt Strider carcass. Oh, no, 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 no. I got distracted by the Silt Strider carcass. Here we go. We found it. We have found it. Oh my gosh. Is there something I can that do for you? That took stupid long. I'll probably actually cut that down. We'll see. Yo yo. Uh, Josian. Talk to Zanamu in the yurt. Okay. I'm gonna rest up before I do that. Oh my god. Will you get out of here? All right, let's go talk to her. Is there something you need? Oh, and there's our friend there. What's up, buddy? We'll get you in a second. I don't think we've been introduced, Outlander. I'm Zanamu. How can you? How can I help you? You want to take Josian from us? But how can we work our magic without a man? I'll let Josian go if you can bring us a better man. The brave hunter Abba or Asaba Bentus of the Erebensium is young, strong, and handsome. Excuse me. If you bring him here, we'll let Josian go. Okay. So, you know what that means. We gotta go back to the camp. But, at least now we know where we are. We know where to go. So, it'll be a much faster run. We can find out just how, uh... How off, like, time we were. Let's use the boot. What are they at? Yeah, they're, they're fully charged. We'll just levitate back since we're going to have to overland with a follower to get back out here. But at least we won't have to deal with any like creatures in between here and there again. I think I killed pretty much everything in the area. Oh, I spoke too soon. We got another cliff racer up ahead. Seems like he's not too interested, though. I don't know, he's coming back. Yeah, see, this is where I got messed up. If I had seen that one, I would have kept going that way. Or did I see that one? And I think I turned the wrong way. Well, you know what? Let's see. Let's just go right over this hill. Oh, what? I thought they were fully charged. Oh my god. 
gosh. Look here, Cliff Racer. You gotta die. I thought my boots were fully charged. That was weird. It said they were. I guess not. I must have been on a different artifact. But that's alright. Here we go. We'll be walking back anyway. Since we'll have a follower. What's that? Oh, that's the Golden Saint. Never mind. Yeah, that was still kind of surprising. I wasn't expecting a Golden Saint out here. Okay, so we need to find Asaba. He should be walking around out here somewhere. I don't think that's him. I don't think he wears a helmet. Is it you? No, you're not Asaba. I can already tell. I'm not going to like you. You're this. not There's Asaba. No now, go. You're not Asaba. Where is Asaba? It's not you. Leave me. Oh, there we go. Asaba! You'll find a welcome here. Well, I'm not looking... I'm not looking here. I need you to come with me to the Mabragash. What? You want me to go live with the witch women? Do you think I'm a fool like Josian? Do you think I would fall for their charms? Are you afraid of a few women? I'm a hunter of the Arabensum. I've proven my bravery many times against the war-loving Arabensum who think all pa peace lovers are cowards. So you are afraid. I'll show you that I'm not afraid of any witch women. I'll follow you to the Magragash camp. All right. Just took a little bit of coercion and trickery there, I guess. Not my preferred way to act, but at least at least we know that he is, uh, you know, coming of his own volition, and you know he can he can go deal with the with the witchy women there. Uh, let's see, can he get over this? That's the main thing. Because I'd like to take the most direct route. So long as he can follow. We'll zoom out. Okay, good. He's keeping up, no problem. I swear, this is a much quicker trip once you, uh, don't get lost. And see, there's a page. I bet there's a page over here I just missed. Now, see, they, they put the next page pretty far... Pretty far out, so, uh... Yeah, that's a, that's a spot that probably gets a couple of people. Alright, should be just over this hill here. We'll have the lava pit. Yeah, here we go. Just down below. Alright. We have made it back. So we just gotta go in. Now what you can do, if you want to keep him as a permanent follower, you can have him wait out here and go in and kill everybody. My Except for Josian, precious, of course. So don't kill Josian. Quick. But, you know, I'm not gonna be doing that because I don't want to kill anybody unprovoked. Just get an hour in there. My time is precious, so make it quick. I'm sick? What do you mean I'm sick? I've got a blight disease. Oh my god, really? Ah, uh, that's always fun. Okay. Asaba Bentus. Abba, Asaba Bentus is indeed a better man. Thank you for bringing him here. Yes, you have brought us a better man. We'll let Josian go. All right, Welcome. Josian. Please don't be shy. Yeah. Okay. Great. I'm great. Listening. I'm sick. I get it. Cool. You gonna come with me? Or are you mad that I'm sick? Are you uh? You ready to? You ready to go? What am I supposed to click on here? Did that do it? Yeah. They agreed to let him go. There we go. You've dealt with my captors. I'll find my own way back to the Arabinsum and continue to teach them of the Empire and its ways. Awesome. And I will return 
to Fort Moonloth. Which, uh... I probably need to get my... Uh... Disease taken care of here. I think it's over this way. There's a, uh... Shrine... Maybe? No? Maybe there's not. Well, that's lovely. Believe it off. But first off, let's just go ahead and turn this in. Report on Josie and uh, Anqua. You rescued Josian? Good. Now he can continue his good works here in Vardenfell. Okay. Any advancement? No. Okay. Orders. Go to Avernate and rescue the Imperial citizen, Danza. She's being held captive in Aber Abernate. Yeah, why not? Abernanit. Abernanit. She's being held captive in Abernanit, a cave on the island southeast of Gnarmok. Find her and get out alive. That's always good advice. Tell you what, let's do this since it's, uh... I'm not sure where the nearest shrine is, so... Where's my divine intervention? Oh, it's a spell, that's right. Yeah, okay, so it does take me here. That's what I thought, but where is the... Where is the shrine? I don't see an imperial shrine. Oh, you know what? I think it's through here. Yeah, that's it. That's what messed me up. I think this is gonna be a blight disease. There we go, now we're cured. Okay. So now, of course, we've gotta head back up to Balmora. We'll catch a boat this time, so we'll need to head down to Vivek and head back up to Gnarmok. There's not like a mage's guild or anything faster for this one, unfortunately. Whee! Oh, we got our uh, athletics going up at least. Had to get some water there. Alright, we got our Silt Strider up ahead. Get back on uh, regular magic before I accidentally teleport us somewhere. Yeah, I'd say the easiest way to get there is going to be just going straight to Vivek and catching a boat. I think, uh, I think we can go direct to Gnar Mok from Vivek. I don't think we have to go through anything else. Well, probably have to go through Vlaod. Yeah, so we'll catch a boat over here. And we'll just make our way up the western coast. Now, while we're up that way, uh, we are gonna go ahead and do the... Uh, fourth mission for Rad as well, since it is also in Gnarmok. It doesn't cause any problems if you go ahead and do it, so it just saves your uh, saves yourself an extra trip. Go ahead, Outlander. What do you need? I'm going ahead. I'm going ahead to Gnarmok. Let's get some daylight. All right. Oh, we need to head east across the water. What am I doing? I need my boots. Are they charged up? I didn't really rest. And they should be okay, right? You know what? I'm just gonna use water walking. That'd be that'd be easier. Oh, be the uh Got a cliff racer over here, too. Go ahead and get my sword out. There we go. Oh, got some crabs. Oh, got our first Nyx Hound of the day. And let's see here. Mm hmm. Uh, more. More cliff racers. Okay, 
Okay, it should be on this island. Oh, you know what? I think it's this. Just gotta go into the swamp first. There we go. A burning it. A burning it. A burning it. Don't be burning it. Let's switch back to our local map. Got a rat. Doesn't seem to want to come after me. Oh, well, that's good. I think I've been silenced. There we go. They can't silence me. This is the end of you, sweet. And down. You're not the the person I'm here for, at least. Ooh, skill book. Skill book. We got an axe skill. It's uh, <laughs> pretty low. All right, and we just need to head through here. She should be around the back. Very windy path here. Oh, you're a marksman. Yeah, yeah, you just keep shooting me. What was that? You just shot at my feet. Hmm. Hmm. Just slaughter fish down there. Did I miss a path? Let's see. Maybe there's a different way to go. I thought that was the way. Oh, yeah, you know what? I have to go down here, don't I? Do I? Okay, now I'm thoroughly confused. There's not any other way to go. Is she up top here? Oh, there it is. There's the way we go. Like, I know it's one of the... I thought it, I was thinking it was the other one. Like, I know you have to go down a long, windy tunnel. There she is. Hey, Dansa. Are you here to rescue me? Do you want to travel together back to the cave entrance? Sure, follow me. All right, let's get her outside. We'll just head right back out this way, head down the stairs and up to the door. Pretty straightforward. Easier rescue than the last one, that's for sure. Alright, once we get her outside here, that'll successfully complete Thank that you. quest. And at that point, you're totally free to, uh, to travel back. Yeah, you got me this far. I can swim the rest of the way to Gnar Mok once I've rested a bit. From there, I'm taking the first ship back to Hamberfell. I wish I could thank you for rescuing me, but the bandits took everything I had. No worries, that's okay. We're just doing our job, ma'am. So what's this about? And what is this about? Let's see, let's switch back to our world map here. We need to head back up to Gnar Mok. And really, we're just heading to the island just north of Gnar Mok. Little small island up there. Um, and that's where we'll get the... Oh, God. I don't think I can cast this. Oh, I can. Cool. But we are looking for the breeding pair of Netches. So if you talk to the people of Gnar Mok, they'll tell you that there's a couple of breeding Netch that are causing some problems. Oh, let me see here. I believe it's these. I believe it's these guys up here. If I remember correctly. What do you want? Go away. There we go. Yo, are you guys breeding? Yep. You can tell because they're going to be hostile. I have killed a breeding netch. Oh my god. I might have to levitate. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to levitate on this one. Jumping's not going to do it. So, that's a fun thing to keep in mind. Uh, do my boots have any cast? We shall find out. 
They should cast, right? Oh my god. They do. Oh my god. There's a cliff racer attacking me too. Hit the damn netch. I've contracted hell joint. Great. I'm catching a lot of diseases today. I don't know if that was a breeding netch. I didn't get the update. Uh, is there another netch? I swear that was the one. I didn't see a uh, an update. Maybe because I was getting sick at the time. Which I believe... Oh, I do have Cure Blight Disease on self. Well, that's good to know. Mm, I should have like a regular Cure Disease. Realm's Cure? There we go. Yeah, that helps. All right, you know what? I'm going to put a, uh, a quick save right here, just in case that wasn't the netch. And we're going to make our way back. Back to Moon Moth. I about didn't have enough magic for that. Okay. What say you? Let's go talk to the boss, and we'll turn in the, uh, the first quest. We share the same company. What can I do for you? What's the situation with Danza? You rescued Danza? I'm glad to hear it, Agrippa Penis. How about advancement? No, no advancement. Okay. Go to uh, go to Ganar Mach and kill the pair of breeding nets that threaten the town. Like I said, there's a pair of breeding nets north of Ganar Mach. Kill them both before they wander back into town again and report back to me. So the nets are dead? Good work, Agrippa Penis. See, we did it. Cool. I still don't seem to understand how to follow orders, it would seem. Alright, give me my, uh, my last quest for Mr. Rad here. We are to head up to Dagenfell, and we're gonna track down Sorkbuild the Raven. Now, if you've seen my video on the, uh, the Mask of Clavicus file, you'll know that we have already done, uh, done this at one point before. So, we're just gonna take a Silt Strider, probably down to Vivek again. Because that's just the, the simplest way to go there. Although really, anywhere that has, you know, boat access as well. Because really, it's, uh... It's kind of far from Vivec. So... Yeah, maybe, uh, maybe cool. We'll do cool. Cool will be faster. We're just gonna do it this way. Walk up the hill, head across the wall. Whee! And I think for that, I'll probably need to take the Silt Strider through Aldrune. Oh god. And I'm on the outside. I couldn't have fallen to the inside and been at the steps. All right. Hello, my good man. I need to travel. Let's head to Aldrune. And then we'll probably have to head to Nissus. Let's see. Oh, no, I can go straight to Cool. Perfect. We make uh, a special trip. Sun in the face. Same low price. Alright, we just need to head down to the docks, and we can take a boat up to Dagenfell. And thankfully, Sorkville's tower is right there in Dagenfell, so you don't have to go too far. And of course, you know, with, uh, with the conditions that Agrippa Penis follows, we won't be taking the Mask of Clavicus Vile, unfortunately. But, we can probably take the, uh, the Limeware. That'd be nice. All right, let's take a trip up to Dagenfell. And here we are, lovely about? Dagenfell, up in the extreme north of Ardenfell in the Sheagord region. And there are a few Dwemer towers around, but it's uh, it's going to be this tallest one back here. And there are quite a few enemies inside. Quite a, quite a decent bit of good loot to get as well. 
and it's actually one of the one of the shorter uh, dungeons. Yeah, you stay over there. I'm not I'm not messing with you. All right, Sork builds tower. Let's head down the steps, and we should have a uh, Nord over here. Nord with the Dwimmer Mace. Oh yeah, they're the uh, Dwimmer Scarab schematics. It looks like all the all the stuff is pretty well stolen. Yeah, that's all right. You can uh, you can raid the the chest there, or not the chest, the uh, cabinet there. It's not stolen. We got a Bosmer over here who has a very nice little sword. The, uh, the Saint's Black Sword. That's an Ebony Blade. And it has Restore Fatigue and Restore Health enchantments. So that's always nice to pick up. Various Dwemer artifacts laying around. And we can pretty well avoid the, uh, the Mage over there. I think we'll be alright. But definitely want a quick save before we go upstairs. Because Sork Build will attack right away. There we go. All right, Sorkville the Necromancer is dead. And like I said, if, you, uh, if you're you playing without the restrictions that I put on myself, absolutely take the Mask of Clavicus file. Don't worry too much about me. I got enough personality to, to hold through. And most everything up here is going to be stolen. So I think there's like one book, Darkness Falls on Sentinel, that is not stolen. Or Night Falls on Sentinel, that's the one. That's also only one of two copies in the game. The other one's located in the, uh... Oh, what is that place? The Orc Manor in, uh... In Caldera. There's also a Daedric Dagger right there, if you want to take that. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's everything we needed to do up here. So let's hit our recall. And we'll go tell the boss that, uh, that we have killed Sorkville the Raven. Reporting in, sir. You choose to share your time with me? Just ask, Agrippa I'm Penis. Over. You have my complete attention. Uh, let's see. Sorkville the Raven. The Dunmer despised necromancy. I can't say I like it much myself. We must prove to the Dunmer of Ardenfeld that the Imper uh, Imperial Legion is the first to root out necromancers wherever they try to hide. Oh, well, I already did that. Uh, Sorkville the Raven is dead? Good work, Agrippa Penis. Yeah, yeah, I'm just that good. Can I get advancement now? Nice. You're a good soldier, Agrippa Penis. I'm proud to give you the rank of Knight Errant and the Curious and Greaves. Alright, so we're now getting the Imperial Templar gear. Let's take a look at that. I'm definitely excited to get the Greaves. Because I didn't even have any Legion Greaves before. I'll put Mara's skirt back on in a minute, but I want to see how all this looks. Does that have... I think my Duke's Guard is probably the better between them. Yeah, by a little bit. But look at that. That's fairly, uh... Fairly distinguished there. I like the look of this. So, we'll probably have that on the thumbnail. But you probably already know that, because you already clicked on it. So, you know awesome. more than I do. But yeah, that's uh, that does it for Fort Moonmoth. Next week, we will be checking out Frawled the White, and he is... Where is he at? Is he the Ebonheart one? I think he's an Ebonheart. Yeah, so we'll be doing that next week. For now, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to hit the like button if you did, and consider subscribing for more. I have new stuff coming out every week, so there's always something cool to watch. And yeah, we'll see you all later. Bye.